Hey everybody, it's Tom and I'm back again and uh, this time it's not a haul video um, but there are three pretty great contests going on right now and um, I wanted to show my support to uh, some fellow YouTubers um, Amazing Murfinator, uh, KKN Comics and uh, my buddy Jimmy C and um, <clears throat> excuse me I'll do uh, KKN's uh, contest uh, submission first. I'm going to kind of piggyback them all on the same video just to save time. Um, everybody was okay with me. Well, not everybody. I didn't check with Amazing Murfinator, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Every, Jimmy and uh, and uh, KKN Mike was um, okay with me piggybacking them all together. And um, so we'll do KKN's uh, contest first. It doesn't roll off the tongue very easy. That's why I'm kind of hesitating when I'm saying his channel name. Um, but he basically, his rules were easy. Um, if you're collecting any runs, and I do a couple of runs, uh, not many, um, show four key issues that you think are important to the run. And uh, I'm going to pick Power Man and Iron Fist since I've been on a big uh, Power Man and Iron Fist kick if... Uh, you guys have been watching my videos lately. It's been loaded with, you know, pickups of that title. And uh, to me, there's five major issues to the run. I have four of the five. Um, first, we have um, number one, of course, the first appearance of Luke Cage, uh, Hero for Hire number one. Next, uh, the next significant uh, issue to me is... Um, Power Man and Iron uh, Power Man number forty-eight, which is the first uh, teaming of Power Man and Iron Fist, and uh, you can kind of get this book on the cheap. I've gotten two copies of it, and both times I got it on the cheap. And uh, I recommend you try to find that if you can. That you're you know check through your Power Man uh, back issue section. Um, a lot of times you'll find it in there. Um, the next significant issue from that run is number fifty, and it's the first issue in the next uh, in the continuation of, of the run where it becomes Power Man and Iron Fist. I remember back in the day when I was reading comics at the time, this ad for this book was everywhere in every issue I was reading. Sorry, we got the glare going on. But uh, I also got my uh, issue signed. Um, oh my God, why don't I know who signed that? Uh, Chris Claremont. It's embarrassing. He was the writer on the uh, on the title, and then the last issue. Sorry, let me just hold it instead, instead of being lazy. Is issue number sixty six, and this, believe it or not, is the second appearance of of um, Sabretooth. So those are the four main issues to me um, in this run, and it's only a hundred and twenty five issue run, and. Uh, I'm coming down the home stretch of that issue, uh, of that run. I'm down to like five issues. Uh, next, I'll do Jimmy C's contest. And uh, if anybody saw Jimmy's recent video, basically he, he's gotten to the point where he says, just basically do what you want. Um, but the, the original contest was, um, since he's, you know, into art, and I, I believe an art major or was an art major, um, you know, and he collects a lot of original cartoon art. If you have any uh, original art, like commissions or sketches, show them to him. Um, but he also said, uh, if you didn't have anything like that, just, you know, tell a story of uh, any interaction you've had with an artist. Or, you know, he told me it was okay for me to show some of these uh, prints that I have. And uh, this is a uh, uh, print that I got from Starenko at uh, the East Coast Comic Con last year or the year before I forgot which um, and he signed that for me and these other things everybody has seen in my videos before because they're kind of backdrops to uh, to my videos a lot of time this uh, Olivia print um, for Betty Page I, I remember I picked this up at a flea market and um, when I met Steranko he was a nice guy um, you know he talked to all the fans and you know, he answered questions, and he told me a story about the uh, the giant size Hulk uh, issue, um, the famous cover that he did. Um, another amazing artist that was really nice to meet was Art Adams, and uh, 
You guys have seen these prints before. And then the only other print that I have is this Greg Land print. Um, you know, I've met a lot of, not a lot, a few artists just because I've only gone, gone to like three cons. Um, but every artist that I've met, for the most part, has been really nice. Um, Michael Linsner, I think, is was the best that I met. And um, the last part of the contest will be um, for Amazing Murfinator. And his was like 125 subscribers, and now he's almost at 200. So um, he's picking up subscribers like mad. And uh, he wanted to sh us to show our 10 favorite covers. Um, and I also want to put a little twist on the contest, too. I also want to show some other kind of art pieces that uh, are not necessarily comic books, but I, I want to show them anyway. Um, back in the 70s, I um, mean, you, know, you know, the Kiss covers were fantastic. So, I mean, this Destroyer cover and this Love Gun cover were my, my two favorite of all time. I just want to zoom in on that. And then in addition to that, I want to show something that I don't think I've ever shown in a video before. It's um, a, a toy, whoops, that's got some amazing box art to it. Whoops, it's kind of big and bulky, like its owner. So we got this Lord of the Rings Ringwraith uh, Fell Beast. The box art on this is just incredible, which is part of the reason why I never opened it. I uh, just pause and everybody see that. So that, that's just incredible art. I love this. And then um, I picked more than 10 just because, you know, as I was trying to look for issues, I was finding other ones. Some of these I've shown before and some I haven't. And I didn't want to try to, I didn't want, I did not want to show like all, you know, girly, you know, hot chick covers. So I tried to mix it up as best as I could. But um, Venom number one, I've always loved this. Uh, this cover. Um, it's no secret that I'm a big J. Scott Campbell fan, so this is one of his covers that I like. This is perhaps one of my favorite J. Scott Campbell covers ever for Gen 13, number 12. I love this Brian Boland uh, Joker cover. Uh, I'm also a big Frank Cho and a big Red Sonja fan. And uh, there's been so many great artists that have done Red Sonja pieces over the years. Um, this Virgin cover of uh, Red Sonja. It was signed by Frank Cho. Uh, Comic Order 410 got that for me. This is perhaps my favorite uh, Avengers single story of all time. So I guess that's why I threw it in here. Uh, the cover is pretty cool too. But this is uh, Avengers 177 from the Michael Korvax uh, saga. And uh, Avengers 151. Um, I think this is my favorite Kirby cover. I'm not a huge Kirby fan. Um, but I do really like this issue. Um, God, I, I don't know how many times I've shown this issue of Wonder Woman 36. Um, David Finch cover. Love this. And uh, I'm also a big Adam Hughes fan. And uh, I love this uh, Baroness cover. And uh, Michael Turner as well. Got a couple of Michael Turner covers here that I'm a big fan of. This one. And I think this is my favorite Wonder Woman piece that he's ever done. From Justice League number 7. Um, this is a book that uh, my buddy Evan Leahy got for me. Um, I was chasing this book forever. And uh, it's a gorgeous Adam Hughes cover. And as I was saying before, I'm a big Red Sonja fan, and there's been a lot of amazing artists on Red Sonja. This is a Michael Turner cover. I don't have the, the original issue yet. I'm still chasing it down, but I got this one. Alex Ross. And uh, Silvestri cover as well. There's also some amazing Adam Hughes covers um, for Red Sonja as well. I don't think I've ever seen J. Scott Campbell work on on Red Sonja that's something I'd like to see and uh, 
I love this Wonder Woman cover. I've always there's always something about this cover that I, I've loved. And then uh, I'm a big Dave Stevens fan, and I picked this Vampirella book up recently. I love this. He's also done some great uh, Betty Page stuff as well. And this is another Dave Stevens cover. This is a uh, Milo Manara variant of, variant of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, he also did a Gamora cover, which I've shown in some other videos before uh, that I have a poster of. And then you can't uh, do like a cover appreciation video without uh, without uh, um, showing Frank Frazetta work. And I, I got two issues of uh, Frank Frazetta work here that I love. Uh, this creepy magazine with uh, the Wolfman versus Dracula, which is which is amazing. And uh, I like this as well. This is a very famous piece that he did. And the last book, uh, and I'm, I'm disappointing myself because I forgot to bring this with me to the con that he was at, uh, Greg Land. I love this uh, Wolverine variant. Sorry, I'm shaking a lot today. Uh, my hands are not the steadiest, but uh, I love this, this cover. It's, it's just something about this cover I've always liked. As soon as I saw it, I said I had to have it. You know, there's so many other amazing covers out there that, that uh, you know, you can't, possibly fit them all in one video but uh these are just some that i'm a big fan of so um congratulations to everybody um on all your subscribers uh jimmy and uh, amazing murfinator and, and and mike um you guys have great channels i enjoy watching your videos and uh hope you get more subscribers soon and uh thanks for having this contest guys and uh till next time take care